welcome at this time Andrew Everett and the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion, Trevor Lee! I guess we're gonna get to Guys, we uh we did just get back from uh, Las Vegas. No, guys, no, don't celebrate that. Oh, come on. That had nothing to do with wrestling or comedy. That's, that's okay. That's okay. It was okay. Just this guy trash. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> just being real, guys. I mean, he's hey, not, you said he's not it. You said it brought it up. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Since 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 I am here on this joyous occasion, I'm here. Uh. Uh, I see that you have a belt, right? Yeah, Drew, while you've been gone, I, uh, I've been here busting my ass in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Yeah. 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 I've been like the past like two matches or something, and I've been like four hours of wrestling yeah. or something. That's true. That's like the past I four years I've been here. I, I, don't, I don't want to do that. Cool, man. I don't want to cool. do that. I love you, dude. <laughs> this guy right here, this guy's brought the most out of me every time. Every <laughs> single time. I have? Okay. I'll when take that. Tonight, it's not about this mid Atlantic title. You know, no, Drew, no, no, no. you and me, we've done everything together. Just about, but, yeah. but there's one thing we haven't done together. I, I think I'm catching on. What are we doing? Just go ahead. Make sure I know it. How about uh, Trevor Lee whisper, and Andrew Everett? Whisper, whisper, whisper. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be, How about uh, Trevor Lee and Andrew Everett? That's it. Challenge Eric Royal and Ray Kandrak tonight yeah. for the mid Atlantic Tag Team Championship. Oh, 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 You know, it's been a while since you can, 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 town, Drew, but... Can, can you tape another belt around your waist, can you? Yeah. I got some arms, you know, we can hang it around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to do that tonight? Cheers. Let's make it happen. Sick. Generation League Championship on the line. Jesse Adler defending against Tracer X. Scott. Cecil Scott. It is another instance, just like we saw last week with Joshua Cutshaw, of a young man making his CWF Mid-Atlantic and CWF Worldwide debut and having a huge opportunity. But Cecil Scott, what about the announcement that we just heard? Our main event tonight will be Trevor Lee and Andrew Everett. First time they have ever challenged for the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Championship and the first time ever meeting against Ray Kandrak and Eric Royal. That is our main event tonight. What a main event for the 2016 CWF Homecoming. Man, that's going to be incredible on paper. That's got all the makings of a tag team classic. And we might see a show stealer right here with these two tonight. Absolutely. Two dynamic young athletes Whoa. fighting out for the Rising Generation League Championship. Quickness is obviously a big part of both man's game plans. And look at the quickness. Tracer X stopped short. Oh, but he tricked Adler. Only a count of one. Oh, Adler right there. Yeah, something I know a lot about, you know, sometimes. Oh, oh, oh straight oh, idea on the drop kick. And both men come up to their feet. Crowd here at the Sportatorium, very appreciative. And Tracer X once again throws the X up. Right, no what does that mean somebody coming. laying his heart? Yeah. Throws the X up. That's Is it. that what he's trying to say? Yeah. Somebody's going to be hurt? We need to stretch. Oh. Right. Oh. 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 Great thinking on the heart of Tracer X. And I think we found somebody that can keep pace with Jesse Adler here. This is tremendously difficult. Oh, sit his head into the canvas. And Tracer X is going to the floor quickly. Oh, I feel like everything these two men do will be quickly. Swing and miss. Oh, good thinking on the part of 
Tracer X. Now Tracer X does have an experience edge. Cover two. He is right on the cusp of RGL eligibility. Matter of fact, if he leaves tonight with the championship, he will only get a few months maximum to hold it as he will actually uh, qualify out by the time the tournament starts. He just rang the spinal column of Jesse Adler. Somebody may be hurt here in a second. Standing Moonsault 2. He's got a very compact build. You know, a lot of those splashes and things. He may not look heavy, but they hurt like hell just because of the way he's put together. Yeah, absolutely. He's got he's got a great compact weight too, a compact frame. Nice half stretch. Now this is unusual. A lot of times in these faster paced wrestlers, uh, it, it's a detriment to their style. A lot of guys don't know how to properly slow the tempo of the match down. They're great when they're going a million miles an hour, but if somebody catches them in the kitchen sink one time, uh, they don't really know what happens next. This is showing great, uh, really, veteran know-how from Tracer X here that he knows to slow it down. Right, veteran know-how, and that's, you know, for a lot of guys, that's how the style has become. The European style has become more popular lately. You know, and he's uh, kind of got that saber-like build, so uh, very interesting game plan. Adler fights out, takes him to the mat. Beautiful forearm from the young man, barely out of high school. He might be out of high school by the time this airs, I think. Maybe, if he makes it. Wait, no, sir. Adler going to the ropes again. Nice one, Scott. One, two. Boy, Adler, you can see the maturity just on his face, just looking him in the eye and talking to him. You can see the maturity in this young man from even you know, five, six, seven months ago. Oh, beautiful clothesline. Man, this Tracer X is fast, dude. Cover two, two. Maybe that's why he doesn't have a full ass name. He's so fast he couldn't write it down. Mm. I met his dad one time at a show back in the 80s, Dr. X. I don't think that's his dad. It's not his dad, Dr. X? No, and I don't think he's a real doctor either. I saw him wrestle S.D. Jones for about 19 minutes one time. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. Tracer X slowing it down once again. He may have a good game plan here to take Jesse Adler out of his element. You know, Adler has hung in there with Trevor Lee for 40 minutes. He, he's been beaten up. He's been, you know, grounded and pounded. But if Tracer X can control the pace, this is not a guy that Adler has trained with at the dojo. This is not a guy Adler's familiar with. He's got a chance to leave here a champion. Yeah, I'm going to bring some sports science into it here. Science! Science. You kind of go from all out, 100 miles per hour, to slowing back down to a crawl, and then back and forth and all over again. Yeah, absolutely. It drains your body. It's like when you're, you're in a car driving in the city, and you keep stopping at red lights, you're going to run out of gas quicker. It's the same thing with the human body. You know, when I was in those fast-paced matches, it drained me too. Bro. That one that you had that one time? That one time. Oh, boy! Hey, oh, no. Adler soars and scores! All the body weight comes crashing down on Tracy Rex. And listen to this crowd. I cannot remember a time in the, what, almost 15-year history of that championship that the rising generation of champion has been this universally beloved. The crowd here at the Sportatorium that has seen this young man hang in there with classic after classic after classic matchup, they know what this young man is capable of. Right, he has raised the prestige of that title. He hit that neck breaker, might get the shooter. Standing shooter, perhaps. He was a little bit out of position and he oh. fell for it. He likes to do that in a quick combo. He was a little bit out of position and he paid for it big time. That's the inexperience of Adler. Absolutely, and he was trying to gather himself after that dive. We're gonna see what this kid Tracer X could do from the top. Chase a little too much time. Going up top here, heads up. Oh, he rolled right through though. Great thinking, he did not eat the buckle. Oh. 540 degree kick. Just rang his bell. Adler up the 540 kick is going to the skies. Will the second time pay off? Stuck him. Absolutely stuck it. And retains. What a fantastic matchup for the Rising Generation League Championship.
our twin car, Spill CWF, rising generation league champion, Jesse Hedler!
But did you know that you can also rent the Sportatorium for all of your anniversaries, fundraisers, and live pro wrestling birthday parties? Check us out at CWF247.com to find out more about how you can have your event right here at the Sportatorium. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! My dear friend Brad Stubbs has been on my back for six months. Mitch, he keeps asking me, are you a pro wrestler again? I've been ducking the question, but I knew homecoming was up on the calendar. I figured it's been six months. Brad deserves an answer. More than that, each of you deserves an answer. So I'll give it to you in a minute. But first, I got one more big thank you to give. See, 11 years ago, on a little more than a whim, I bought a car for 500 bucks, and I made the long drive from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, oh yeah, you betcha, all the way down to Greensboro, North Carolina. You know? It still doesn't sound right when I do it, I know, but I like it. I loaded that car up with everything I owned in the world at the time. About $800 cash, a couple of changes of clothes, my wrestling gear, and an inescapable feeling that I was more alone and more unloved than any person on the face of the earth. To go from that to this, sharing the love of a family of hundreds, it's more than I could have dreamed. It's more than I could have expected. It's certainly more than I could have planned. But I'll tell you something, his plans are so much greater than my plans. So I thank God, even as I thank each and every one of you here tonight. I thank you because you said let Mitch fight. And I got to fight. And in fighting, I found that I'm not as breakable as I was afraid I was. Not as breakable as certain people had hoped I was. And if it isn't ending, at least this time it's a happy one. 2011 was all failure and shame and regret, and I carried that around with me. A little over a year ago, I referred to myself as the ghost in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. You people made me flesh and blood again, and it's great to be alive, and so one more time I thank you for that. So with the thank yous out of the way, I did promise you an answer, and here's how I'll give it to you. Five years ago, I took off my boots, and I left them here in the rain. This time, I kept them on. You never know when I may need them again. Thank you!
You know you can't have a homecoming without the boogeyman, right? First thing first, cheap plug. Everybody's been asking when's there going to be another RCW show at Riders. I'm letting you know right now. August 7th. Riders in the country. RCW returns. We're talking to the original Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Bang. And confirmed last night, Wizard Luke Tolan will be there. So I want to see all y'all out there. You know Commissioner Randall got to be there. So now, all them hot dogs. On a serious note, y'all know this, you had to, this is my first time being here this year, right? Y'all had to see me around. Used to see me everywhere, Mount Airy, Eden. But here, past all couple of years, you had to see me around. All river. Yeah, all river. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, y'all. Your boogeyman is beat up bad. I got two ripped biceps. I got a bum knee. If you look at an x-ray on my back, it looks like a roller coaster from Carowinds. <laughs> I'm being serious, I, seriously. I feel your pain. So what I'm trying to say here, this may be my last year, y'all. I started wrestling when I was 15 years old. I'll be 49 in December. So you do the math how long I've been doing this. But you know, I probably got maybe 10 more boogeyman matches left in this old body. And if I said, Boogie, where's your last match? Gonna be. If I said do it riders, you know, RCW. Well that's what I was finding daddy, but I know one place I was wrestling at way before RCW. And that's CWF in Atlanta. So I'm gonna try. I, we gonna make sure my very last match is gonna be right here in front of my people. It's right here at CWM because y'all deserve it. I love each and every one of y'all, man. As long as not against you. Excuse me, old man. The name is the real name, Joshua Cutshaw, and your last match could be right now, old man. Who are these guys? We are here, but no, not way too long. Listen to me, I'm talking. I have a microphone, you listen to the words I say. We have an upgrade. We have an upgrade, CWF. And Arnie took out one CWF jabron that didn't know when his time was done. So you're next, brother. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Brad, come here. Yes, sir. Where's the upgrade? We're real oh, that, well, who are you? Hey guys, Matt, Nick Jackson here, The Young Bucks. You are watching CWF Worldwide, but you actually should be on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Young Bucks. We've got like 54 designs. Pick one of the coolest ones. Too sweet. Too sweet me. Boom.
and Cecil Rocket Fizz Scott are in the booth. Cecil Scott, you want to talk about a match that epitomizes the spirit of the homecoming. Could it be any better than four of our favorite sons in a tag team championship match in the region that put tag team wrestling on the map? I've got goosebumps every eyeball in the building is on the ring. It is main event time. Man, this could be a main event on any show, any building in the area. And we got it tonight. Power brother, power. This is always a matchup I love, Shirley yeah. and Eric Rowe. Absolutely, and as we have talked a lot tonight about the history of CWF Mid-Atlantic here at the homecoming, Eric Royal, quite frankly, maybe the one guy that has always had Trevor Lee's number. If you look back at the Grant Sawyer record book, I, I'm struggling to think of a single W that Trevor Lee has over Eric Royal. Royal has had his number, I believe. Oh, look. Royal has had his number, I believe, every single time they've ever faced off one-on-one. -on -one. Especially in these championship matches. It was uh, Trevor Lee and Chet Sterling, the team that was defeated by Kendrick and Royal for the tag team titles. In a, a, honestly, a classic tag team title match. And one would say that Trevor Lee was Eric Royal's toughest challenge as heavyweight champion back at Battlecade a couple of years ago. There we go. The athleticism of Trevor Lee, maybe second to none anywhere, maybe second to no man anywhere on the planet. And not for nothing, he's a guy that's constantly adapting his game. As he travels the world, he adds little wrinkles every time. Yeah! Yeah! Or the chip on the shoulder of the ace of CWF Mid-Atlantic has become more and more pronounced in the past 12 months. Royal has never had confidence issues. He has always felt like he was the man, but every time Eric Royal steps in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium in the past six or 12 months, he just exudes. Come fight me, come screw with me. Right, but you don't become the ace without cover. You don't become the ace without uh, confidence. And uh, I have to go back. He looked completely befuddled that Trevor Lee countered that arm bar. Royal talking to the crowd here. I got to say, you know, I don't want to put words in the champion's mouths, but I, I, I do not think Royal or Kandrak care one way or the other if the fans cheer for them or if the fans cheer for the challengers. I'm not necessarily a bad thing. I think they appreciate the fans, but uh, they're not going to lose any sleep at all tonight if they retain the titles but don't have the cheers of the fans. Oh, absolutely, and I, I know Reed Hendrick personally. I've known him for years, and I can tell you 100%. He gives zero, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, absolutely. He, he can take it or leave it. He has been cheered uploriously from this Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium crowd. He's been almost booed out of the building at times in his career by the Sportatorium crowd. And yeah, you're exactly right. He cares not one way or the other. As Andrew Everett locks up for only, I believe, the second or third time ever with Eric Royal, former Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions, are in the ring. Of course, Everett and his protege, Jesse Adler, challenged the champs a few weeks back in a classic tag team title matchup. This is pretty. That's pretty athletic. 
athleticism. Back to Aaron Eric Royal's title. See? There it is. He did a cartwheel in Eric Royal. Andrew Everett Quiet. There it is. Andrew Everett about to pull the leaf out and he walked out when he didn't get his way. Oh, he's getting the straight. But I was going to say, back there in Eric Royal's title reign, one of his first defenses was against this young man, Andrew Everett. Back then, known as the Chiba Kid. Absolutely. It was the one time ever meeting a former tag team partner's one on one. Really changed the career of Andrew Everett if that was the night that he lost the mask of the Chiba Kid thanks to Trevor Lee. They would go on to have a rivalry cover. Ooh, he got the rope. He kicked and got the rope. They've made up since then. Yeah, Everett and Trevor are going to have a rivalry for the ages. And uh, they had a match for the ages too. It is a tumultuous relationship between these two, you know? Sometimes uh, it, it seems like, you know, they're, they're great together, and, and sometimes, I, I, I don't really know any other way to say it, it seems like uh, Everett gets on Trevor Lee's nerves. Right, Trevor Lee is a lot more stoic than Andrew Everett. You know, Trevor Lee, he definitely uh, has his moments where he runs his mouth, but he likes to be more business-like in his approach. Andrew Everett's a fun-loving guy. As we've seen a lot with these tag title defenses by Kendrick and Royal, Royal in there starting out to match. I, I feel like he gets in there and tries to get a feel for the opponents. And kind of set them up for Kendrick. Yeah, I agree. I agree 100%. Wait, we wear, saw that. wear down if you can right. and get the wrecking ball in there to tear it down. We, we saw that a lot back in the day with the Steiner brothers. Scotty would always get there and start and kind of feel out the opponent. And Rick would come in and just kind of hug him around. Jesus, God. That's a matchup that I'd pay a month's salary to see. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would pay for current day Steiners again. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Lee talking to the crowd. There may be nobody that can control the emotions of the 250 in this room better than Trevor Lee. Yeah. Royal is trying to fight it. Royal is still fighting with yeah, that big time. Look, look at the ankle of Eric Royal. Man. Look at the ankle of Eric Royal. Zoom in on it. Look at the ankle of the ace. He has got to be hurting. He's got to get that rope. What? Had to. Two. Three. And pushing in a little Four. bit more on that ankle before he breaks the hold. It's the little things that make people talk about you, Brad. That's what I've heard. One of them. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I don't even know. Okay. Oh, after the hamstring again. Oh, all the power of the ace. He muscled him down. Yeah, Trevor's strong, but he's not going to outpower either of the champions. Oh, great thinking. Oh, man, hit the ankle. Oh, look at the assassin! Kandrak gonna dare him to come over. Ray Kandrak is not impressed by Trevor Lee. You know what, Trevor's fearless, but he is very cautiously backing away. He may be the only one on the planet that's not, but he is the obstacle that Trevor Lee has got to overcome right now. And this is a matchup I have always wanted to see. Oh, absolutely. Kendrick is completely joyless. I don't believe these two have touched since Trevor Lee was a, a rising generation league prospect. Certainly, oh God. Not singles, but if you recall, the, the oh, of course, the tag match. title match. Oh, he's got the choke. That was effective for Kazi. Right, they were in there just momentarily in that tag team title match back in December. Oh, oh, Kendrick is a wrecking ball. And that's the thing with Kendrick. Trevor's game usually has to change. We saw it in December. He can't wrestle the same way with Kendrick as he can other people. That match against Kandrak and Royal, one of the on, very rare blemishes on the on the ooh, 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 cover on the win loss record of Trevor Lee. Yeah, especially if you look at the last 12 to 16 months, uh, almost a spotless record. A little bit of aggravation from Roy Wilkins, our man D. Spence's favorite wrestler. A little bit of aggravation from Roy Wilkins, but other than that. Uh, yeah, hit Trevor Lee, it is it is a feat to put his shoulders to the mat in this ring, in this room, in front of these people. Right. Boy, D. Spence is trying to uh, get that hashtag trending here lately. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, he wrestled, nice he wrestled nice Royal to the canvas. Beautiful bridge. Now one, ooh. Come on, come on. Riding into the face. Totally illegal. Watch his shoulders, bud. Two. 
Man, these are not just four of the best we got. These are four of the best you'll find, period. Ooh, oh, he caught him. Ooh, and a hush fell over the middle of the sportatorium. And Royal caught that boot. It's always uh, curious to see what the rank of Trevor is going to do. Something like this. Oh, God. He's going to pull a hammy. Oh, he's stuck. Yet, Royal can't move without falling. Oh, that's bad. I might, I might just hit the canvas. He's about to get cold caught. Great move. Man, Royal is on the list I would not mess with, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, either one of these guys. Uh, you don't want to embarrass these two. No, exactly. As good as Trevor Lee is, uh, when it comes to Eric Royal, quite frankly, uh, I would not poke the bait. No, absolutely not. Oh, ran through him. All oh, power from the ace. Cover only gets two. Just raw power from the ace, land on the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. See, so we got to point out, you know, it's something you don't think about it until you're in that situation. Ever since he captured that Mid-Atlantic Championship, has instituted he wants all his title matches to have it full time limit. Mid-Atlantic Tag Team title, 30-minute time limit. So Trevor Lee does not have that advantage that he has had in his singles title defenses of basically Wearing down the clock, working the clock. Right. I mean, 30 minutes is still a long time, but he also had to account that you have a partner. Nice shoulder tackle. We'll have to get it done in 30 or less. Will Trevor Lee and Andrew Everett. Oh, he caught the head again. Whatever Trevor Lee was going to throw, we'll never know because Royal just took him to the mat. What a disadvantage. And I just thought about this of those long title matches. He kind of reveals the new parts of his game every match. You never know who might be scout the champion. That's an excellent point. You would think of you know, cover. That was great of Eric Royal. Exerted almost no effort. Just simply rolled his weight on top of Trevor Lee and got a near fall out of it. So smart. No wasted motion at all. Yeah, you, you would think everyone would be eyeing the champion and, and watching, you know, what the champion is doing in this type of matches. That's the goal everyone wants to make. What a drop kick. And believe me, they're watching. Oh, penalty kick. Cover two. Only two. And it's rare that you see Royal down for a full two count. We finally got Everett back in the ring. We got two. Come on, guys. Let's go. We thank you wherever you are in the world for joining us on CWF Worldwide. But man, if you're anywhere where you can get to Gibsonville, North Carolina, just outside of Greensboro, you need to get here. Because, oh, there's nothing like being in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Is that a subtweet on the boy? <laughs> oh, fired him into the buckle hard, into the corner. Royal looks a little frustrated. Everett charges! You want to talk about classic matches. Oh yeah, one of the greatest matches in CWF history was the Chiva Kid against Kandrak for the Middle Atlantic title. Oh, oh and oh, oh, barely phased it. He's such a bear, he's still up. It barely phased him. He can't take Kandrak down. Kandrak is throwing himself in the room. He don't care. No, he's awake. He went for the head, but no dice. Every oh, takes him over with the head scissor. Simple physics, like you said. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Kandrak will need to keep his head on a swivel out there. Oh, he's oh, stopped. Royal charged in. No, he oh. reached him. Good thinking on the part of Everett. Air traffic the control. They're talking to each other inside the ring. Kandrak is waiting on him. Oh, he just walked away. Kandrak dared him to jump and instead to hell with him. Oh, God! Oh, he caught the butt. God, how much of a beast is Kandrak? Good Lord. Are you going to have to fire at him with a shotgun? Oh, and Royal caught him. You were talking about a beast. Oh, God! Oh, and Carter Von to his own partner. The Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions simply will not be moved. A stone wall out there. Kevin Pierce is negotiating Kandrak back to the corner. Cover, and it only gets two. Man, Kandrak and Royal are wearing out two of the absolute best we have ever seen. Power almost always wins. Trevor Lee has been compromised, and he is in there oh, with maybe the hardest hitter on the entire CWF 
roster, the unbreakable, unmovable Ray Kandrak. You want to talk about Ray Kandrak? You think he doesn't sit around and want to get another crank at that title he lost two years ago? Throwing his fists up, Kandrak is torn with the champ! Oh, firing away! Man, three shots from Trevor Lee just barely dazes Kandrak! God almighty! He did, it was two hands, he shoved him! Most people, you move back about a foot, he threw like about six feet back into the buckle. Kandrak keeping one foot on the throat of the Mid-Atlantic champion. Cover two! Only got two. One foot on the throat, the challengers might have one foot in the grave right now. Man, I don't know if there's anybody, I don't know if there's two men walking that can take those Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles away from Royal and Kendrick. Man, what a hard whip. The ace isn't just a fun nickname we gave him. He truly is the ace of this company, and he's showing it right now. Royal pulling Trevor Leo. Shoulder block into the midsection. Everett, I don't know if we can get a shot of it. Everett is still hurting on the apron as Trevor Lee is getting what, 260 or so pounds of the ace. Oh. I told you, the champions do not care He's about the fans' adulation. Nice defensive move there by, by Trevor Lee. Just, just Vader attacked him. I think he ran into an elbow. Oh, oh he cut him so off. Close. Good Lord, he cut him off with seconds left, and he takes a shot at Everett. The champs are looking to retain the titles by any means necessary. And you know what? They don't want to get into a long, drawn-out battle with these two. These two, the champions know that they got to go ahead and put this thing away. Boy, that's a great point. That is such a great point. Because, be frank, the challengers are going to have to stand on the edge here. Mm. Royal getting heated. Crowd is firmly behind the team affectionately sometimes called Trevorant. But Trevor Lee has been compromised. I've never called him a bad. We saw this a few weeks back against Cedric Alexander. Cover, 280 pounds land on a champion that he just barely got out. We saw this a few weeks back against Cedric Alexander. Cecil Scott, I'm going to put you on the spot. Is the schedule getting to Trevor Lee? The schedule? I don't know if it's getting to him to a point where it's going to cost him matches, but yes, it is getting to him. And a combination of, like I said earlier, more and more people are seeing his game. They know what he's bringing to the table. It's a great point. The more famous you become, the more well-known, the wider your reputation reaches, the easier it becomes to find footage, to see what you do, to learn the tricks. And certain smart wrestlers out there will find the hole in the game. I don't know if anybody in the history of CWF Mid-Atlantic, we talked about the history a lot, I don't know if anybody in the history of CWF that has carried on as grueling a schedule as Trevor Lee and Andrew Everett in the past 18 or so months. And man, I, I'm not going to write either one of these two amazing wrestlers off, but I believe the schedule may be wearing these two down. Trevor Lee has been compromised for several minutes now. He is holding on to that rope. He is not letting the ace have it. Missed him on that one. That could be bad. And there's the tag. Oh, he made it. Everett's legal. Hits him. Just hurled his body. Hey, Kandrak didn't budge. He's calling for Royal. Oh, Kandrak's in. Oh, Kandrak is in illegally. I don't know if Everett realizes it. Well, I think he realizes it now. Fair point. Oh. Oh, set them into each other. He used that momentum. God, Kandrak has not left his feet this entire matchup. I don't think they can put this man down. You know what I think we've learned in this match? We learned a long time ago not to put these two young men down. They're never out of it. Trevor Lee is up. Trevor Lee teeing off on both champions. Kandrak cut him right off. Swing and a miss. Drew Duck down. Oh, 
along with the high kick for Trevor Lee. And finally, got Kendrick down. Oh, man. Put your camera phones out for this. The challengers are scaling to the top rope. Oh, man, what do we got? Ooh. Kendrick says, no way, Jose, it gets out of there. It's the second time. Double stomp got nothing. Royal is in. Draw him over to Hendrick. Cross body. Oh, oh he got the kick. Oh, man. We're going to have new champions. Is this it? Frog splash. That's not the legal man. Shooting star. That's it. That's One, it. That's two. it. Oh, Eric Royal said not tonight. This is out at two. Eric Royal said not tonight. That was a big combination move there. Drew gonna head back up top. Nobody does it better. Everett, come on. Royal come trying to get up to his feet. There goes the assassin. Oh, on the knee. The knee hit the turnbuckle. That knee has been surgically repaired more than once. And look at these two incredible fighters. Yes! Oh, he spared him on the apron. Man, that was dangerous. Yes, it was. Kendrick just hurled 280 pounds in the middle. Atlantic heavyweight champion. Rears up! Exploded from the top. My God! And he sent him all the way across the ring. If he can cover him, we got a winner. Everyone is down. Cover. Two. Ooh. Ooh. Trevor Lee, unbelievable. Hard of resilience, able to kick out. Let's continue. Camera two over there is right with Ray Kandrak, and Kandrak may have hurt himself when he hurled his body. That big spear on the apron. Trevor Lee hit the apron. Kandrak went all the way to the floor, and that's the first time I've seen anything in this matchup phase the assassin. Yeah, he may have cracked his head on the apron on the way down or cracked the concrete. Either way, kind of ironic, he's the one that took himself out of the game here. The champions right back in control here. God almighty. Oh! Wow. Everett hits awkwardly. He's hurt. Everett is hurt on the canvas. Cover, this is going to be it. Oh, you heard Everett audibly screaming in pain. Everett is hurt from the moment his spine hit the turnbuckle. And that's one of the disadvantages of being one of the smaller men on the roster. You get flung around sometimes. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, he stuck him! Did the ace! Can't drive! Oh, 280! Just pancaked Everett! And almost beat him. He almost beat him right there. And think about it. Kendrick was standing stationary, and, and Everett was flung into him. Kendrick didn't budge. I've heard he's got a hard head. He's going for it in the midsection. Oh, a big backbreaker. God, he stuck him. Cover. Two. No. Trevor Lee has been down for several minutes. Andrew Everett is surviving everything that the champions can throw at him. That was not a strong kick out there, Brad. No, but he's still in it. And he has been, I mean, beaten up. There's no more clever way. Trevor Lee is needing help to get up on the outside. Trevor Lee is needing help to get up on the outside. When have we ever seen that? He actually pulled himself up on the cameraman. Trevor Lee may be in no condition to take this tag. He's reaching out, but the two hardest hitters in the Mid-Atlantic are slugging away. Right now, Eric, Eric Royal just pounded on Andrew Everett. Everett trying to come back with the poop. Man, hard elbows. He's got the big man rocking. Oh my God. Ball game. Two. No, sir. Good grief. Andrew Ever right now. He's like the grizzly man getting eaten alive out there. But unfortunately, we got the footage to prove it. I would have bet a week's worth of biscuit bill that that was over. 
but Andrew Everett with 250 strong in the middle. That exploratorium cheering him on is still fighting. And man, at this point, after so long, if you're the champion, do you start to question what is it going to take to beat this guy? Do you start to question if you've got enough to stop this kid? Trevor Lee is on his feet. What do the champs got to do? Unfortunately, you just got to keep beating on the man and oh, doing stuff like that. But their best play right now might be to play for the draw. Two! Kendrak is going for covers after everything. To your point from earlier, are we, are we seeing a situation where if this thing goes 20, 25 minutes, are the champions going to run out of gas? No one has pushed them that far. Right, and even though they're in control, as I've said a hundred times, even when you're dealing offense, it takes it out of them. Mm -hmm. If you're doing it for 30 minutes, that, that might be Drew's, Andrew's uh, game here, just to take as much as he can. Cover. Two. Everett is just continuing to fire back. There's not a lot behind it. Oh, Brody knee cover. Two. I, I've been in tag matches with Andrew Everett, and I never beat him in a tag match simply for the reasons we just talked about. He's impossible to keep down. Come on, Everett. He just has such unbelievable heart, and all it takes is one or two big moves from him. Whoa. Determination on the face of Royal, but Andrew Everett firing pack. He's got a tag. German. Oh, he landed on his feet. Great thinking from the apex of agility. Good lord. Look at the team. Right in the back of the head. Kendrick is down. Oh, I thought Royal was stunned, but he is not. And Royal is just laying on Everett. Oh, three. Oh, coming ahead. Kendrick is not legal. Oh, that's questionable. Kendrick is not legal. Raygun? Raygun, he's got it. Raygun will end it. He's I'll bet two weeks with a biscuit though, but the Raygun will end it. What is it? Everett's trying to get him both. Oh, he did he team both of the tag team champions. He navigated both of them to the canvas. Everett is hurt, but Trevor Lee is on the apron like a wild man. Look at the Middle Atlantic champion waiting for the tag. He's had time to regroup, he's had time to rejuvenate, and there's the tag! Oh man, Trevor Lee! Yeah. Oh, tee it off on Kendrick! Yeah. Tee it off on Royal! Yeah. Oh. He's taking yeah. them both on, but neither man's going down! Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And what's it gonna take to take these super heavyweights yeah. down? Trevor's got to be careful not to wear himself out. Good Lord, Trevor Lee is still on. Man, flying European uppercut. And this crowd is on their feet for the champion. I cannot believe how much the challengers have persevered. They want to leave the CWF homecoming with the Mid-Atlantic Tag Team titles. They want to represent us everywhere. Mm. You're thinking on the part of the middle Atlantic champion. Oh, oh, man, can he German? Can drag? Can he whip this big man? That's almost 300 pounds. And this time, no. Mm, pump kick. Good thinking. Mm. Oh, he dropped Kendrick. He finally dropped Kendrick after 25 minutes. And Royals wobbly. German. He wobbled him with that kick, he got out of the German, and he hit him with a right hand of his own! Mm. Oh, he caught the knees! Oh, God! Trevor went for the knee! Royal caught it! Trevor adjusted in mid-air, and Monkey flipped Royal on his yeah. partner! German! Two! Oh. Two! That was big! What will it take? to win this monumental contest. Well, they've solved the first part of the problem. They got the champions off their feet. Now they just gotta put it together and find a way to keep them down for three. Trevor, you can see the wheels turning. Everett is trying to pull himself up, hurting. You can almost see the wheels turning in the, inside the head of Trevor, Trevor Lee. Trevor Lee's calling for his partner. Oh, God! Does Andrew Everett have enough gas after all that beating he took? We'll never know what he was calling for because he just got chucked out of the ring like a small child. Oh, Everett's in there. He's not legal. No, it's not. Pierce has got to get Everett out. 
and kind of get one of the champions out for that matter too. Trevor Lee is still trying to direct Everett. I'm not sure if he's aware that Everett just got creamed by that space jam. Oh, the head buddy caught him in the air. Get out of the ring, man. Let's go. Oh, man, the champion. Oh, the champion's out. Oh, no, there's Everett. I think Trevor Lee was KO'd there. Andrew Everett at the last moment making the save. Trying to fly here. This will be his biggest advantage. Ah! Oh, no. Both champions. I thought they caught him, but he rolled him down. He, they were trying for all they were worth, like bowling pins. Everett threw him to the floor, and the apex of agility is going to try something else. The epitome of aerial perfection. Try again. Yeah. And it seemed like both times the champions were ready and wanted to try to catch him, but they couldn't do it. We are seeing now that the challengers may have found a way to navigate around the power game. That's twice they tried to power him that didn't work. With the assist. Oh, three times to the outside. Everett is going to keep hurling his body until the champions don't get up anymore. You just got to get one of them in the ring now. What an unbelievable matchup. Now these are the two legal men. Absolutely. It's time for the kill shot. Mm. No, he went for the elbow. Trevor Lee is making it happen. The challengers are rolling. We may see new champions after all. Oh, oh. The kill shot. Royals out. Tag. Tag from Everett. He's heading up, we might get the boots. No, Kendra! Oh, he ate the feet! Oh my god, both feet in the face off of the moonsault! Everett tried to be flashy, he ate the feet right in the face! And there was a tag! Yeah, these are our two legal men! Oh, oh god, he sent him into orbit! Oh my god! Two, three! The champions have retained a classic! Unbelievable tag team match. The champions have retained. Your other five pounds still. CWS Midnight Tag Team Champions. Ace Eric Royal Assassin Ray Kendrick. Right here. 
What do you say, Drew? Can, can you make it to your home fed where daddy fixes the nachos? Can you actually make it here to fight a man? Or are you going to go off to your other family sipping tea in England? Oh, oh, oh. Drew! Okay. I'm sorry that I've been busy, but uh, I've never ever held that title. And Trevor, don't forget, I've beat you before. And I can damn sure do it again, bud. There you go. Some big words, what do you say? Hey Bradley, yes, absolute justice, me and Andrew Everett, no time limit, Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Yeah. Give Audie the match, but give him the match. Because I'm taking that damn title from you, and it's coming to me. Home. Ladies and gentlemen,